You are welcome. Today is Saturday night of December 2017. And the subject matter for today I have titled Make Mistakes and Learn from Your Mistakes. The formula of trial and error that was handed over to us by conquest of our ideology can no longer be used as a formula to solving our most essential and basic need. It has not served us right, so it should not be a formula. This formula is wrong for our development and it should be abolished. And we should employ a new formula today based on this principle. Make mistakes and learn from your mistakes. For it is better for us to start working on our own formula now and make mistakes and develop on our mistakes to become better human beings and to become movers of development and civilization in Africa. For the Almighty God forbids us now to sit back and watch as a spectator or as an incompetent laborer or as a dependent or maybe as the least in the chain, a fool in a fast-moving world. When it all first came to me, and I proclaimed my intentions and aspirations to become the next governor of Edo State, a state in the country called Nigeria, I knew then there must have to be something to watch all this that was going on inside of me. But lately, I have come to this realization that the something that what all this that is going on inside of me is you. You, my people. You have become the greatest of all I desire. Your progress has become paramount in my day-to-day -day existence. You have become the hope and the hands that must build the future for Africa and for the African race. And if you can hear me today, please rise up with me, for there is no more time to waste. Make mistakes and learn from your mistakes. Teach yourself something new and good to do. Something that can push Africa ahead in our own time. Give us your own formula. Give us a new formula. And let us work together to make these great ideas of yours a reality. I will tell you these stories based on my very own life experience. One day, one summer evening, I was outside my cottage home in Manchester and playing football with my little boy. Then I observed this episode. That every time I passes the ball to my little boy in a quick manner, he falls down to the ground, even before the ball gets to him. And sometimes when I advance towards him in form of tackling him, when he has the ball, he also goes down to the ground. Then I thought about all my local football games in the days, and the few football matches I have been opportune to see live, and some few I have seen on the television. Our professional football players falls down to the ground too. When the ball comes to them or the ball is within their range, or when they are being tackled by their opponent. Then I realize this reason. Behind those many falls, the football players fall down to the ground, not because the ball has suddenly become too heavy that they cannot push or pull out, but rather the football player falls down to the fears, the fears of not knowing what to do when the ball comes rolling in, the fears of the next and the right move to take, the fears of the consequences of his next move, 
Will he get the blames? Or will he be applauded for a good work? And that brings me to the reasons why I want to be your next governor in Edo State. The reasons I want to be your next governor is because I want to engage your every force. I want you to know the next and the right steps that you must take. Yes, I want to be your governor because I strongly believe that in you and in me lies a great potential to be somebody. To be somebody of usefulness and relevance. To our people, to our little community, to our state, Edo State, to our nation, the nation of the Union of Nigeria State, to our continent, Africa, and to this planet Earth that we are called home. I want to be your governor because the next step that you shall take solemnly will be determined by you and not under the influence of a second or a third party desire. Yes, the reason why I want to be your governor in Edo State is this. Because I want you to be able to say to your fears and to your oppressors, for once and always, this is what I truly desire. This is whom I truly believe to lead the people to the promised land. Mr. Bright Owen Osagi and the physical change that he represents. Because you have got faith and because I truly believe in God's faithfulness, we shall all stand together on the inauguration day. And we shall be inaugurated all together into the class of the governors of Edo State. We shall see that day. Oh, well, yes, we shall see that day. For that day is just by the corner that no man can stop. But before then, what must we do? I say we must walk. We must walk patiently and we must walk diligently. Employ this principle I have given to you today. Make mistakes and learn from your mistakes. But just keep on walking towards a greater goal. And that brings me to this other episode in my life experience. And I wish to share it with you today. Some few weeks ago, I found myself with my team on a controlled solution at the Motor Point Arena in Nottingham, United Kingdom. Motor Point Arena is a national ice center for games of ice, skating, and, and hockey, and other indoor events. And for the very first time, I saw people skate on ice. And I saw the game of hockey played on ice too. Oh my God. But my mind was running too fast for me. I had wondered how a man could have imagined things so weird and bring them forth onto a reality. I had imagined that one day, maybe a tiny little man, or maybe a son of a nobody, or maybe a solitary villager, had imagined things in his mind, a good idea. And he had said to himself, I am going to build an enclosure, and I am going to crystal its floor with solid ice that men could play wonderful games and be happy and be occupied and even earn a better living doing so. But I had also imagined 
how people might have reacted and laughed at his weird solitary idea when he had dared to share them. Krista, a floor with solid eyes. But always know that these people around you, these people that you can see, hear, and feel, can also see, hear, and feel you too. So do not give up on yourself, for they shall feel your good and positive impact someday, if only you will try a little more. These people could be quick to judgment, harsh to every ideas, and that all manners of wisdom, or they could be just a common fool. But always know that these Good things you have imagined in your mind is your treasure, best kept secret, and your responsibility to bring them forth and let the beauty impact the lives of man. But not only had good ideas and determination been thrown to the ground by the fool and by all the mistakes already made. But from the ground it sprout, and from the ground it grow, and yet good fruit in abundance for today's generations and generations to come. I do not believe in life after death. Oh yes, I do not believe in life after death, he said. And if there could be life after death, it has to be determined by the amount of the good labor that we have given in our journeys of life as a laborer here on earth. So tell me this day, what is in your curriculum of life? What have you done that is good in this life? What have you got to give to your neighbor that is good? To determine your next phase of the afterlife, if there be one. But I am of a strong faith that this is a miracle. When men gathered up together and said, We are going to build a space box that shall take us across the skies on a journey from one place to another. And yes, they did. But this is a miracle. Oh yes, this is a miracle. When men gathered together and said, let us make vaccines, vaccines to immunize ourselves from the brutes and the afflictions of polio, leprosy, measles, meningitis, hepatitis, tetanus, tuberculosis, and many other forms of fatal illness that have ravaged the human race. Illness that have ravaged mankind, but were brought to an absolute end by this accord miracle. For this is miracle, where men create a genuine form of art in sculpture, painting, songs, poems, and many other forms and manner of goodness and creativity that bring peace and gladness and hope to the human race. For this is miracle. Oh yes, these are called miracle. If you ever find yourself lending a hand to uplift mankind. For I tell you today, if there be an afterlife, you have just earned you a good sport. So I encourage you today to let your good initiative grow. What are it, no matter the hardship and discouragement that each day brings, be hopeful that these great ideas of yours will be a benefit to your generation and all generations to come after you. If you are a tailor,
Just know that someday, somebody in the late 19th century was also a tailor called Chanel. If you are a painter, know that there was also a painter in the 15th century called Leonardo Di Serp Piero da Vinci. If you are a writer, a poet, actor, a playwright, also know that there was a great writer, a poet, actor, and a, and a playwright. God knows I was born under the same sign, 23rd of April, William Shakespeare, April 23rd, 1564. If you are a president of a very corrupt nation like Nigeria, please also know that there was a president of a very corrupt, evil nation. A nation who must have murdered the most treacherous deed on human beings as slaves in the history of the world. A nation whose entire fabric was built on corruption, hate, injustice, and war. But today, this nation now turned a land of the free, a land of diversity, a land of opportunity and a land of justice to the world. Know that there was also a president that was assassinated on April the 15th, 1865, in Peterson House, Washington, D.C., in the United States of America. A president in the name of Abraham Lincoln, his Emancipation Proclamation notes paved the way for slavery abolition. And if you are a governor of a state, also know that just yesterday in 1967 to 1975, there was also a governor who single-handedly built the Midwest state of Nigeria with power water, electricity 24 hours of the day, good road, which are still the only road we have got in the Midwest state till tomorrow. Schools, hospital, airport, zoo, the police force, and the good list goes on and on. For the late Nigeria Army General, Honorable Sir Samuel Osagbovo Ogbemudia, your good memories will always Remain blessed in our hearts. We know you have earned a good spot if there be an afterlife. This is the road I have chosen. And this is the road I shall employ you all to follow. The road of the good men. Men who had made a very good impact in the lives of mankind. So I say to you today, imagine good things, bring forth your good idea, roll on it, make mistakes, and learn from your mistakes. For there is no other better man but you. I would like to wish you all in advance a very Merry Christmas. And my prayers for you all this season is that the light of the Almighty God should lighten your path in the dark and in the crooked places. And as many that are in the wilderness of Libya, Oman, Iran, Iraq, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, and are facing persecutions and death in South Africa, India, Myanmar, and many other troubled places around the globe. My prayers are these, that the Almighty God should comfort your heart's desire. And to the leaders of the world, I say, please let peace reign. And to you all, I say, 
Let peace and comfort reign in your lives. And as you wish for yourself, also wish for your neighbor. In the coming weeks and into the new year. And let us make the progress and development of Africa start in the oncoming year 2018. May the good Lord bless you all today. And may the good Lord bless you all tomorrow. And may the good Lord bless all your children and yet and your children yet unborn. My name still remains Mr. Bright Wanosagi. And I thank you all today. And goodbye. Thank you.